<laughs> you gotta be shitting me. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit more Outlast. Now, I should, I just want to clarify before we get going here that it was, um, after that first episode was captured, um, I hadn't played it, you know, for weeks and weeks now. I, ha I really haven't played it. Uh, I picked the game up after, you know, just as a recap, picked the game up after it was recommended to me from a friend or by a friend. And it was on sale, so I thought I'd grab it then. I wanted to get in and just get a little taste of the game. So that's what that first episode was, you know. And uh, and then, you know, I, I knew I wasn't going to get it up on the channel immediately. So I just let it sit there for a while, collecting dust. But now we're back. And I even just, uh, just to let you all know, you know, I, I rather than pick up where we left off, as a bit of a warm-up, I just came in and went through what we already saw. You know, nothing has changed, though. Everything is the same. For the most part, battery, you know, my battery level may be a little different, but that's about it. Anyway, so everybody strap in. Here we go. <laughs> On this goddamn journey into madness, yes. Alright, shut down the, uh... And actually, there was one little thing that changed was uh, when I came out this door. I came out a little bit faster this time and was looking this way and there was something. <laughs> something beyond the frosted glass. He went into that room right there. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm tempted to go. You know, when you see something like that, he was a big husky fella too. A big husky one. Now, I've been over there in the bathroom. That's the bathroom over there where the man drowned in the toilet. Terrible death. Terrible. All right, well, I, I don't know. Let's let's take a quick peek through here. Oh, it's locked. He locked it down. Seriously? All right. Probably for the best, to be perfectly honest with you. Probably for the best. Okay. We'll squeeze through here. Little oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. God damn. God damn, that was him. I'm almost positive that was him. Oh. God damn. <laughs> There's nothing. It was just. Oh. And who are you then? Miles Hurts Upshire the Third. Were you not listening? First episode. I. I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. What? So we. What do we have an ally in here? He seems a little loony himself, but a little loopy. But, uh. He allowed us to live. New objective escape the asylum, access security control to unlock something. Didn't read it fast enough. Didn't even absorb it. Okay, well, that was a bit of a fright. Let me tell you proclaim the gospel. Let me see here. Uh, now, when you shine your camera on certain areas, you'll get like uh, a little, a little something to read. You know, to kind of propel the story forward. It's almost—it's really—it's Miles' thoughts. You know, how he would write the article, so to speak. Oh, this guy died brutally. Look at the blood. All right, what do we have here? I'll take a quick peek at this. A little ganda. Uh, in the matter of the seizure of, uh, of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkov Psychiatric Systems, yes, yes. Uh, affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkov Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. Okay, so that's kind of how they gained control. Court order. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkov Corp or its uh, subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Fine. Okay. I have to escape the asylum, eh? Maybe I should just hustle then. Oh, no. 
We're on lockdown, apparently. Yep. Gonna have to, uh, get these locks open. Alright. This is <laughs> some real contrast in lighting here, you know? Really sets the mood. Now, easy here, Miles. Easy. Easy. Take a good long look before we enter. Enter here. Alright. I think we're good. Now, I think batteries are really gonna be invaluable, you know? Are these my own footsteps? Am I tracking bl What's he... What's going on? What's going on? What's he breathing heavy for? <laughs> Damn it, Miles. What's he doing? Is that something? It is. It is. Let me take a quick peek at this as well. Um, this is uh, Murkov Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. Uh, this is patient number... This is Walker. Okay. Um... Yes, 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 yes. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have to have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Oh, that's who we ran into. Old Walter, eh? Old Walter, obviously. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with the failed morphogenic engine, the cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead. Allows for a truer way of seeing. Trying to expose the third eye. Third eye raw. Yes. Um, <laughs> seems to have some boyhood experience with the Tuatara lizards and their aperiatal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. Uh, the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding a progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Yes, he is certainly a threat to himself into others as he had proven oh no oh no oh he's 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 stirring he's stirring hopefully he's confined to that wheelchair permanently I don't like this I don't like it at all Something I can get into? No. Wishful thinking, perhaps. Wishful thinking. It almost looks like there's... Yeah, there's. there should be a vent up there. Can I get to it? I'd like to avoid this fella. I'd like to avoid him altogether. Oh, man. Can I go through this door over here? Let's see. Nothing. Having none of it. Oh, wow. Alright. What do you guys think? Miles isn't, isn't, isn't liking this at all. His breathing has intensified. I don't know if creeping... Creeping is going to do anything. Oh, the poor man. The poor man. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, no. There's more of them in here. Okay, we've got... Uh... A little party going on here. We got a third one over there. Oh no. I think I took a wrong turn somewhere, people. Slowly, Miles, slowly. Not much of a lookout, is he? No. 
That's madness for you. Pick the man with no eyes to be lookout. Yes. All right, let's take a quick peek at uh, at this newest one that came in. Was it over here? Yeah, broken men and dead television. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I would be safe to kind of enter that room, I think. Anyway, let's go. Still on the lookout for some batteries. Very much like uh, amnesia lantern fuel, I would imagine. Okay. Well, I'm not really sure where to go. Oh, no. A little bit of activity here. Hide away in a bathroom stall, perhaps. Would be a good idea. Can I open all of these? Witness. I'm not going to disturb him. Man died on the toilet. <laughs> another another drowning in there. Good lord. Filthy, filthy deaths. All right. Camera up. We got to remember we're here as a reporter documenting these these atrocities. Grab the battery here. That's that's a good find. That's a good find. Okay, and out we go. Did I close this door? I don't remember closing the door. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I did. I don't know what to think about the... Uh, the broken men, right? <laughs> are they are they gonna try and like beat my skull in? You know, <laughs> beat my brains in? I don't know. I don't know. I think some of them may try. What do we have here? What is this now? Uh, from Helen Granite, Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkov Corp. The, uh, the profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four f fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is low, as to make uh, any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Oh, is so low. That, that makes more sense. Is so low as to make any chance of any legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granite, Murkov Legal Mitigation Team. Such a goddamn business, you know. Torturing these souls, trying to... Uh, tr tr to what? Create some type of super soldier? Some jazz like that? Who knows? I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, it, it's not panning out well, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm dealing with this madness. Alright. Now, where did he end up? Where did that one guy end up? He, he went into that door right there. Oh, man. Oh, it's on. It's on lockdown. Why do we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. Push some people. We didn't do this. And there we go. Those are the results. I heard Walker's name mentioned there. Need a key to get in there. Okay. So I'm obviously in the wrong area. Jumping the gun. Uh, downstairs maybe. You know, maybe I have to follow the blood trail. That is, of course, yeah. <laughs> That's broken man corner. 
Okay, and I can't get in here. Let's, let's try the downstairs. Seems like... Oh, here we go. Uh, security room, electric room, downstairs. That's what I think I'm looking for. Looking for generators right now. Trying to regain power. Okay. Finally, we're on track. No, having none of it, eh? Kidding me? There's gotta be some way in here. Can I get over this? No. Oh, I can squeeze through here, though. I should be able to. No, can't do that either. Huh. I got a camera. Operational as well. Well, there aren't really many options left here, you know. What are the, uh... No, I guess... Whoa! I don't have many options left for uh, for areas to inspect. Another washroom. Battery right there. That's a good find. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's on lockdown currently. I've been through... Well, I wasn't over here. Was not here. So I'm missing something. I'm not sure what. I think I may have to enter that room with the guys. I think that would probably make sense since I got that little blurb as well. But uh, that's real nerve-wracking, you know? Going in there. I gotta. I have to bypass the uh, the blocked-off corridor. All right. Let me make a move. Slower down here. Slower down. Easy now, Miles. Yeah, they're enjoying the show. That's for damn sure. What is that? What is that? Screaming. Oh, Jesus. Don't mind me, gentlemen. Don't mind me. Just pass through. Oh, that guy's, uh... Goddamn mess. Oh, I don't like this. I'm just waiting for all three of them to just freak out and get up and chase me down. All right. Oh, enough with the with the with the chance. What do we have going on here? Oh, all right. Close that up. What do we have over here? Oh, we've got a security card. Very nice. Poor guy. Do I get a little blurb on him or anything? Nothing. Collected ob objects are updated uh, in your reporter's notebook. Fine. Fine. All right, so what I needed the key card for that one security room. Let me do a quick check of the time. You got a bit of time left. Are they are they going to stir, do you think? No, I don't think so. They're mesmerized. That, that blood bloodstained television. Can I hide right in the fireplace? Oh, I can. Now, that one I think is creeping me out the most. This guy, he's had it rough, you know. But <laughs> this one, oh man. Completely traumatized. <laughs> ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Get them out! Of me, you freak! Oh, run, run, run! 
feel for him. But, uh... Oh, wow. I really wasn't expecting that at that point. Walking by him as many times as I did. Shit. Alright. Um... Now, where was the, uh... Where was the security room? Down this corridor. Oh. <laughs> With that one guy storming around at, at the end. Yes, I, I can look behind by holding Q and or E while running. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's good to know. I'm sure it's going to come in handy at some point. God knows I'm going to be getting chased through these halls <laughs> at some point, you know. There we go. That's nice. We're getting somewhere, finally, at long last. All right, so do a quick sweep of the cameras as well. Oh no! Oh shit! You start the generator in the basement, of course, of course. They lie, do they? They lie. Oh no! Oh, what the hell is coming this way? Oh, it's the big guy! It's the big guy! Oh no! 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 God damn it! What the hell? Crockett. Goddamn bullshit that was. What am, I, what am I supposed to do there? Oh, I gotta find something to hide in, apparently. Can I get in here? Yes, I can. Oh, beautiful. Wait a second. Is he coming? Alright. Yeah, no kidding. Don't try and fight. Thanks, game, for the heads up. Thanks for the heads up. I'm getting a little blurb here. <laughs> big fucking guy, yes, no kidding. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker. Ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands. But not all of it, kids. Alright. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, God damn. Oh, he, as if. As if he checked the other one. Yes. Just move along there, Mr. Chris Waga. <laughs> he smells my fear. Yes, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Anyway, I should probably wrap it there. I think we're probably pushing 25 minutes. I should probably put the camera away. Actually, no, I'm not wasting battery right now, am I? I think it's only when I have the night vision going. Okay, so uh, I'm going to wrap it there. Thanks for watching. Uh, we had a couple scares that episode and uncovered a bit. We're getting somewhere with this game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll thumb it. I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, remember why it hurts. Later, all.